off for something cause she wild If my brother needed it, he know he got it I'm on a way speed and running the bottle Got the G5-3 and I swear that bitch go bang Every time your shit come up, she cutting it off <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, did this nigga not? Did this nigga just quit on his team again, chat? Did this guy LeBron James quit on the Los Angeles Lakers again, chat? Ladies and gentlemen, this right here is just embarrassing, right? A Lakers team, right? Who is trying to get out of that play-in situation. They trying to get to a top six seed. We're talking about a team that have won, what, four straight, five straight in a row, right? A Los Angeles Lakers team, right? Who has been playing some, you know, good basketball in these last couple of games, right? You're telling me LeBron James, right? The guy who's supposed to be the best player on the Los Angeles Lakers team, right? Set out tonight, which the Lakers were at the eight seed, a couple of games back from the six and seven seed. LeBron James sat out tonight and lost this game, right? Because he was not available to help his team win to stay afloat for the for their contention of being a six and seven seed. You know what LeBron James, uh, ladies and gentlemen, missed the game tonight for? Do you know what LeBron James? Missed the game. Do you know what LeBron James missed the game for, chat? This man missed the game for flu-like symptoms, man. What are we doing here? This man missed the game off of flu-like symptoms, nigga. And a flu-like symptoms can be a cough. It could be a, 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 a strep throat. It could be chills. It could be all of that, right? But they want to sit there and say, oh, LeBron James is the most durable player in NBA history. LeBron James is the most strongest, most physical, dominant player in NBA history. And yet, the man is fucking goddamn sitting out tonight with flu-like symptoms tonight, man. Make that make sense. Y'all can't sit there and call this man the most strongest, the fastest, the goddamn most durable. And then when it comes to flu-like symptoms, the man sits out. But they want to sit there and call this man the GOAT. So when you're the GOAT, you got to be hold to GOAT standards. I remember when, when Michael Jordan, right? Michael Jordan, right? Michael Jordan had food poisoning. Niggas still came out there and still gave you buckets. LeBron James, on the other hand, flu symptoms, a sore ankle, a sore leg, a sore knee. He's out for the game. A game which the Lakers needed tonight. This was the Lakers' biggest game of the year because they trying to get out of the ninth seed. They're trying to get out the 10th seed. Now you're in a situation where you're in a play-in situation, a team that was just in the Western Conference Finals, right, who has completely not performed to their standard this year, ladies and gentlemen. Now you find yourself in a situation where if you go against the Golden State Warriors for that ninth and tenth seed, right? Anything can happen, and you can get put out the goddamn playoffs, bro. What are we doing here, chat? What are we doing here? All of a sudden, this man got symptoms. Well, this man was just tweeting. He was just tweeting. I know if I'm sick, chat. I'm not on YouTube. I'm not on uh, uh, social media. I'm not doing that. I'm getting my body ready. This man, LeBron James, on Twitter, all for uh, all funny, cool, and shit like that, man. If you wanna, if you don't want to make the playoffs, if you want to miss the playoffs for this team, then just it, it, let it be. But we got these delusional ass Laker fans, Jack. We got these delusional ass Laker fans. Oh, oh, we could beat the Denver Nuggets. We could beat the Minnesota Timberwolves. Man, your ass got ran off the goddamn gym tonight, nigga. 
It wasn't even close. That fake ass one that y'all did, man. What are we doing here? Come on, go. Who can beat the Los Angeles Lakers? Oh, my goodness. They were they 9-1 and one in their last goddamn 10 games, Mookie. Who can beat us, Mookie? We're 9-1 and one in our last 10 games, Mookie. Who can beat us, bro? Let's go pull up the Lakers schedule. Let's go pull up the Lakers schedule, chat. Let's go pull this shit up. Right? The Washington Wizards, trash team. The, the uh, Toronto Raptors, trash team. The, the, the Brooklyn Nets, trash team. Right? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? These are part of the Lakers' win the last couple of games. Right? Right? The Memphis Grizzlies, trash team. The Milwaukee Bucks, trash team. Right? The Indiana Pacers, mediocre team. The 76ers what I be, 76ers without uh, Tyrese Maxey, mediocre team. Atlanta Hawks team chat, mediocre team, trash team. But, oh, oh, who can stop the Lakers? Who can stop the Lakers, chat, when they've been facing mediocre teams the last couple of games? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Come on, chat. What are we doing here, bro? Come on, bro. Then when I sit there and told you that the Lakers have a, a 420 free throw differential over these teammates, I ain't the hater. I did try to tell you the Lakers not good. I did try to tell you the Lakers are trash. And if they go in the playoffs, they get put out of the first round. They get put out the first round. Ladies and gentlemen, they're done. They're done. Anthony Davis went out, chat. Nigga got poked on his poked in the eye. Nigga out. But he probably out because he see this man LeBron James. Low manager games that they absolutely needed to win. Right? This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing, chap. This is flat out an embarrassment, bro. You sat there and low manage tonight? A game that you needed to win? You didn't come out there and play? What are we doing here, bruh? What are we doing here, chat? You didn't come out there and play the game, a game that the Los Angeles Lakers needed to win? Oh, my goodness, man. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell y'all something. The Lakers can miss the playoffs. They can miss the goddamn playoffs, bro. They can miss the goddamn playoffs all of a sudden, bro. They can miss the playoffs, bro. We're talking, right? When I look at this loss in this Lakers team, when I look at this goddamn team as well, heavily flawed, uh, the, the rotations to me is not really that good. The four-game winning streak that was fucking with LeBron, uh, LeBron, Le the four-game winning streak to me was fraudulent. At the end of the day, bro, they don't have no POA defenders. They don't have no secondary creators on the wings. Rui Hachimura is solid, but they don't have enough advantage creators out on the perimeter as well. They don't have no real interior big man that can really get rebounds and put pressure on the rim. But like I said there, I said, when we look at LeBron James and when we look at Anthony Davis, bro, the expectation was to at least get them back to the Western Conference Finals, and they're going to fail again, bro. The Lakers have a lot of flaws. Leading open shooters. Nas Reed hit, like, multiple three-point sh sh shots tonight, bro. Like, you're leaving him open. You're leaving uh, Anthony Edwards, allowing the ice lay. Nobody's sending help, bro. They, they're just allowing this man to get to every spot that he, he wants to get to, bro. And this is what I'm talking about, bro. Then you get crashed and killed on the goddamn boards, bro. This is, this is embarrassing, bro. If you see Minnesota in a seven-game series healthy, the Lakers get their ass wax, 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 nigga. What going with you, bro? They're getting their ass wax. They're getting destroyed. 
ladies and gentlemen. Make sure, uh, or we got 184 people here, bro. I need 184 people to hit the like button and download the playback app chat. We be on there watching the games. If you want to hear this commentary before the post game, download our playback app. I was out there just cooking all the Laker fans watching the games live. Download our playback app. And shout out to our playback listeners who are coming in and watching the post game tonight, bro. But if you want to watch the pregame and watch us live, download our playback app. Subscribe to us. Our playback app will be there every goddamn day watching the goddamn games. Hit the playback. Get your free VIP pass. Watch the games live. But yes, Chad, they got destroyed. They got humiliated. They got embarrassed. Bears. But when we looking at why did they get a Bears? Because your two stars not there. Your two stars is not there to go out there and play the goddamn game. Then they want to sit there and blame role players when it's when the job don't get, doesn't get done. But but it all relies on your two superstars and LeBron James and Anthony Davis, which I don't think they're good enough to win a championship in the NBA. They're not good enough, bro. If you're not Denver, if you're not Minnesota, bro, you're just not good enough, chat. And I'm saying this for you because these right here are facts. These are facts. This is not cap. This is facts. Real talk. When, Le when LeBron James know that adversity is about to hit, the man is going to shrink, bro. He is going to lose. He is going to find his way to quit on his goddamn team. I'm telling y'all, bro. He did this shit before, and he's going to do it again, bro. This team is just not good. There's a lot of personnel, depth issues, on-ball defense is just not there. The, the, the Lakers turn over the ball. Even they had 32 fucking free throws tonight, bro. They still just that able to close the lead. Um, they closed it within 10, but then in the fourth quarter, the shot making for the Minnesota Timberwolves. And also, bro, the interior presence, um, them forcing turnovers, and the Lakers is going cold, which there to me is not a great three point shooting team in the NBA and our lead. Um, I just don't think that's enough, man. I really don't think it's enough, man. And the inconsistency for both LeBron James and Anthony Davis and for the whole co collection for the team as well. I don't just think that this is a good team just to win, bro. It is what it is, bro. Right? The Lakers sets offensively is not to me cohesive enough to, to win at this lead, bro. And I, I just think that. When you have uh, players that are great at scoring, when you got players that are great at shooting the ball, right, um, and D'Lo, and then you got Austin Reeves, right, these guys are not great POA defenders. They're not good on-ball defenders. So when you get blown past by, you got Anthony Davis who's coming over and helping, well, that's conceding open threes, right? When you don't know how to switch and when you're doubling the wrong way, right, and then you're not playing the gaps like a coach supposed to tell you, you will eventually lose in this league, ladies and gentlemen. So when the Lakers lose again, once again, how are we going to look at the duo of LeBron James and Anthony Davis, chat? How how are we going to look at the duo of LeBron James and Anthony Davis, man, if they go lose again? Think about it. The Lakers go lose again. How are we going to look at the duo of LeBron James and Anthony Davis? Real talk. We're going to look at them as failures. We're going to look at them peaking since the bubble. And then after since the bubble, what they done? What they done? I need a Laker fan to come in and explain this mess. Why did LeBron James sit out tonight? Why all of a sudden he has flu-like symptoms? He didn't have flu-like symptoms in the Cavaliers game. He was all fun to Danny. It was all cool for him, bro. Why is he sitting out games when you know damn well you want to be in a situation where you can be guaranteed at an eight spot to have two opportunities to get into the postseason. Why are you sitting out these games, chat? Because as a Laker fan, the expectations was going to win a championship. That's the expectation for Laker fans. The expectation for the Laker fans, right? Right? Is to win multiple championships, bro. And LeBron James fucking failed. Right? He failed. Real talk. Real talk. The man fucking failed. He failed. 
So where is the LeBron nut huggers? Where is the uh, these these sorry Laker fans? Right. I've been waiting to cook y'all niggas. I've been waiting for y'all to have y'all four game winning streak, to have y'all have y'all moment. You know what I'm saying? Have y'all four game winning streak. Have y'all multiple game winning streak and shit like that, right? And then when it's reality be when it's reality be, to be set in, right? I'm going to expose who y'all are. I've been right about the Lakers lady. Hey, Chad, how long I've been right about the Los Angeles Lakers? How long I've been right about the Los Angeles Lakers? It's been forever. Forever. I've been right about the Los Angeles Lakers forever. Forever and ever 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 and ever. What are we doing here, bro? So when I say something, you should take it. You should marinate in your brain and understand that, hey, this guy, when speaking about my team in the Los Angeles Lakers, have been the most consistent, and he's been right about it. You got your ass group again. And then, and then when I'm looking at this team, bro, right, when I'm looking at how bad constructed this team is, then that's when I can all look at LeBron James and sit there and say the Lakers have not quite recovered from, you know, this Russell Westbrook trade, and they've been lacking an athletic center. They've been ha- lacking a um, a secondary creator out on the wing. They've been lacking great POA defense and defenders, right? They've been lacking a, you know what I'm saying, um, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, Depth and lacking a lot of lot of uh, pieces for them to go away. And even if they did have the pieces, I just don't think LeBron James and Anthony Davis is good to win a championship. Right, LB, what you got on this? Huh? And LeBron James is finished, man. He's done. How is he about to come up here? Go on a win streak? Then he's about to say, "Man, I don't know how much stuff I got in the tank." And then the next game, he's about to sit out because he got a headache. That's just a sign, if you ask me, that his career is coming to a close. Uh. Mentally, he's not there anymore. He don't. He, he's, he doesn't have it. This man could have mm. taken some ibuprofen. He could have been on the court. But instead, he's going to take that same ibuprofen and make his podcast tomorrow. Mm. He's just not there mm. for his team. Mm. The nigga worrying about podcasting. He worrying about going on the podcast and spewing propaganda and spewing narratives right and, and, and doing this revis revisiting history bullshit right knowing they well that if my team is in a, in a in a seating where it's not good enough to win a championship you know what i'm saying i'm not doing no podcast i'm not i'm not worrying about podcasts i'm worried about trying to be the best team in the league and that just showed you the mentality where lebron james has with this team he don't, you know what I'm saying? He 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 doesn't, you know what I'm saying, have the mentality where he wants to win a championship. He has the mentality where, you know, let's see what we can do, right? But when we're looking at this team and looking at where the Lakers can face in the first round or in the second round in this league, they don't have no chance to get back to the Western Conference Finals. And anything below the Western Conference Finals, ladies and gentlemen, they failed. They failed, and they forever failed, bro. Real talk. I just don't understand. Like, what is LeBron James' goal this season? It's to win a championship. Mm-hmm. So this this man's going to come to the team. He's going to mm. settle for medi- mediocrity. He's going to settle mm. for a play-in positioning. He has mm. an opportunity in front of him when other teams are selling to go and grab a six seed, to have a guaranteed playoff spot, to be guaranteed to play at least four games in the playoffs. And he mm. would rather sit out. Then go there and play a game for his team, even if he does have a headache or he's not feeling a hundred percent. It's the mm. end of the season. I don't get that shit about LeBron, man. I don't get that. I agree, man. I a hundred percent agree, man. And like I said there and said, chat, they're they're done. They're done. And these Lakers fans that think that y'all can beat the goddamn uh the Denver Nuggets. Y'all think y'all can beat the goddamn Minnesota Timberwolves? Y'all think y'all can beat the Los Angeles Clippers, the Dallas Mavericks? Y'all think y'all when y'all in this four game winning streak, I'm hearing uh, just yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, it was 
the Lakers have a chance against the Denver Nuggets. The Lakers are good enough to compete. The Lakers are, you know what I'm saying, are this elite uh, team, a sleeper team, right? You got niggas sitting there texting me talking about the Lakers are a sleeper. A sleeper of what? A sleeper to get their ass whooped? A sleeper to get their ass destroyed in the postseason setting? What sleeper are they on? Because I've been asleep since 2020. I've been waiting for the Lakers to shop me since 2020. What have they done? There's been rosters changed every single time. Players have been moved in and out for one guy. For one guy. And then one time where he had a cohesive roster that can at least contend on getting to a conference final slash finals, he played like absolutely dog shit in the fourth quarters. And your man's LeBron James, and when it's time to at least get one game to hit the side of the goddamn backboard in the game four within the clutch situations in the fourth quarter. Then we fast forward to this year. The Lakers play their best that they all did all season long, right? They haven't peaked since the end season tournament since that December, late November year, right? Early in the season. Then you got LeBron James celebrating. You got the Los Angeles Lakers fan base pulling up banners for a fucking end season tournament. What the fuck has gone on with the Los Angeles Lakers standards? You pull up an end season tournament banner. When the expectation was to goddamn bring the Larry O'Brien trophy back to the L.A. stadium, nigga. You got LeBron James throwing fours. You got LeBron James throwing up the end season tournament championship. You got the Los Angeles Lakers, ladies and gentlemen, laughing, having fun. And after that goddamn end season tournament championship, ladies and gentlemen, they went 2-12. and 12. Since the end season tournament and find their ass back at the Tennessee. seed. And since that what are we doing here, bro? They've been asleep. What are we doing here, bro? What are we doing here, bro? So since then, they ain't peaked since the end season tournament. They ain't peaked since the end season tournament. So if you ain't peaked since the end season tournament. And ladies and gentlemen, they go have some little phony ass wins. They got a plus 420 free throw differential over every team. But we know, I know the flaws in y'all. I know how to beat the loss in ball movement, three point shooting, and to be able to defend in the half court. You got all of that, bro. You can beat this team. And, and all about execution. Because LeBron James and Anthony Davis, they're not going to execute two of the best execution teams in the NBA. They're not going to do that in a seven game series consistently. This is sad. This is embarrassing. An embarrassment, bro. Go ahead, bro. Dude, all I'm going to say is LeBron James should be ashamed of himself, bro. He has he's a it. legacy he's trying to build. He should be ashamed of himself the way he's he's been handling this season. Mm-hmm. He's not mm-hmm. focused on the game. He's not focused on his team. If he was really trying to go out and win a championship this year for the Lakers – he mm-hmm. would he would have told Darvin Ham to get his act together, or he would have had him fired and had a real coach come in. Mm. But he's not. He's sitting out half the games. He's on mm. Twitter twenty four seven, posting tweets, mm. watching other sports games, trying to get more attention to himself and to grow his brand. Mm. But his legacy is on the court, and he's not focused on that this season. Mm. And that's clear. That's clear. Mm. I agree. I agree. I don't know what the Lakers can do. People keep on sitting there saying, "What what the Lakers can do?" The only thing they can hope to do is break the tenure up, t- duo up for LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Because let's be honest, bro. <clears throat> They're not going to get another star. Um, I don't think, you know, there's guys out there in the, in the market where they can get, that can fill in the pieces. But, bro, this team with LeBron and Anthony Davis, they're just not good enough to win. They're not. LeBron James at a point of his career where he's regressed so bad defensively, which – it, it derails on his impact. Nowhere near is the same athlete that he used to be, right? Um, even though he's shooting the ball better, I mean, just it's not consistent. It's not impactful. It's not impactful enough where that's going to then produce deep postseason runs. 
And then when we're looking at this team as as a, a collection of talent, bro, I just don't see them being good enough to beat the lights of Denver, beat the lights of Minnesota, bro. They're just not good. I mean, oh, said, whenever y'all see LeBron can't do something, when he does it, when the when will the haters realize you can count, you can never count out LeBron? Man, stop it, bro. We can count out LeBron because every time in the fucking finals, he chokes. He chokes every time in NBA finals. Right? The man changed the narratives. We all know what LeBron James did, but I'm just sitting there talking about the Lakers. The Lakers are ass. In, in, in tonight's game, bro. Did you see any signs, any signs of the Los Angeles Lakers being a team that can contend in 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 in, in May or late May or June? Did, have you seen any signs? The way that I've seen them play tonight, no. Because the fact is, you look at a team like Denver or Boston, they have a way they play their game when they're in the offensive half, they are in the half court in the set. They have a way they guard on defense. The Lakers don't have an identity when it comes to that. You oh, the Lakers. You see had, Austin Reeves. Hold on, hold on, cut you off. The Lakers had 32 free throws to got them you know, Minnesota 14 tonight. Yet they turn over the ball 15 times, right? They turn over the ball 15 times. They uh they got out rebounded, rebounded. Well, hold on, see. Yeah, they got out rebounded tonight, right? And at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, right? Um, you know what I'm saying? Rui Hachimura give you 30 points. I mean, that's not sustainable, right? <clears throat> he was put in a role when Anthony Davis went out in that, that what was the second quarter. Uh, I mean, that first quarter, late first quarter. I mean, he was put into that role to do that, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, Spencer Diggity, 60% from the three-point line to a guy that's been one of the worst jump shooters, inefficient jump shooters we've seen this season. He's trash. Uh, uh, that's not going to happen again. D'Lo went back down to earth, 15 points, 14% from the three-point line. 26% from the field. They sat there and said he's all-star caliber. Uh, he, he's giving you a preview, a little late sneak peek preview of what's going to happen in the postseason once he signed, got me you up know, good teams, bro, uh, uh, when, he's, when he played good teams, right? Um, let's see. Um, who else Who else had an outlier of a game tonight? Uh, yeah, ever that Torrey Prince was shit. Jackson Hayes, uh, he, he shot 88, 88% from the field, 19 points. Solid game on the board, too, as well. That's not going to happen again for him. Um, that's another outlier of a goddamn game. So the Lakers have players that can give you outlier of a shooting night, but do I trust guys like you know Dignity and and I don't even know where the fuck gave this. I mean, he didn't play the did he play the no, he didn't play the night. So it's just and then you don't have Vanderbilt, and 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 Vanderbilt is supposed to be your best wing defender and supposed to be your guy that's supposed to defend and 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 you know uh get rebounds and you know and uh be your best option on guarding uh, smaller point guards and, and, and on-ball players as well. So, like I said there and said, bro, just they're not good enough. Austin Reese, terrible tonight, 14 points, terrible defensively. Uh, he was a plus-minus of a negative 17. He was the worst plus-minus of any starter this uh, starter player this season. This, I mean, this uh, this game as well, right, 25% from three-point line. Just it was absolutely just terrible. But they sat there and told me that Austin Reeves was the next Tyler Hero. I mean, that's what they sat there and told me, Chad. That's what they sat there and told me, Chad. So when I see this team playing like shit, I'm gonna call that shit out. Meanwhile, you got LeBron sitting out, missing games. You got uh, these other guys coming out here, missing games as well, bro. You blaming Darvin Ham. We all know Darvin Ham not a good coach, but he can't call his plays. He can't call his plays. He can't call a set because you got players changing that shit up, bro. Right. That's the problem with the Lakers. They don't got consistency. No consistency whatsoever. They got players out every other night. They can't ever get used to running a play. You can't Mm. ever see them compare them to Boston or to Nuggets because they don't ever get in the half court and run Mm. their set and make a play. Mm. It's always, oh, it's about to be Austin Reeves coming up. He's about to dribble Mm. for 22 seconds, then chuck up some shot and hope he gets a foul called. Half the Mm. time he gets a call because it's the fucking Lakers. But Mm. that shit's not going to fly because he never makes the shot. And mm. they come down, it's about to be somebody else. It's about to be Dinwiddie fading away mm. from the corner. And he's going right. to get that one out of every five times. So he's going to uh-huh. keep doing it. And it's not sustainable. It's not successful it's not. basketball. Facts. Agree. Agree. And when are y'all niggas going to come out and call that shit out, chat? When are y'all going to come out and call that shit out, bro? Where, where, these Laker fans are sorry. They're sorry, bro. 
They're in their embarrassment, bro. They are in embarrassment, Chad. Right? Then, then let me get on Anthony Davis, bro. Anthony Davis, man. Oh, my goodness, bro. I be defending this motherfucker, bro. But let's be real, bro. He's soft and brutal as hell, bro. And the thing about Anthony Davis, like, he started off the game terrible, bro. I mean, four points, 33% from the field. I mean, four rebounds, a couple of turnovers as well, right? Anthony Davis, to me, chat, bro, he's, to me, a number three on the chat. He could, he could be a number one, but, you know, it just I, I'm, I don't respect the man's motor. Uh, he's, to me, another guy that's just not consistent offensively for this team. And, and like I said there, I said, Chad, uh, you know, he's supposed to be the best player on this team, man, and the, just the inconsistencies. The inconsistencies once again, bro. Hi. And then he went out tonight. Hi. Let's take, let's hold your team. Hi, Mook. What up, man? Hey, hi. Check it out. Um, hi, guys. Salute panel. Um, Anthony Davis, bro. I just can't trust him, bro. LeBron faking like he's injured slash flu <laughs> under the weather. LeBron's a clown, bro. Listen, let's be honest, bro. I'm tired of dude, bro, and that's my favorite player. I'm finna. I gotta find somebody new. I'm done with this nigga, bro. A game that we need. Listen, this is what I'm be getting. I was arguing my guys on the Xbox party. These niggas just told me, bro, that he got a right to sit out on a back to back. Okay, let me ask y'all something. Why the mm -hmm. fuck you didn't sit out against the Brooklyn Nets when he go out there and shoot nine for ten an outlier shoot game and then go play against Washington and then but you want to sit here and duck this game? Which mm -hmm. just played yesterday. How the fuck can you be on the weather that fast? Mm. Man, this nigga LeBron that you know what it was though? He yeah. had no PEDs. That's why he didn't play. LeBron is a fraud, bro. And A D, bro, Mook, I ain't gonna lie, A D soft, bro. I looked at the replay, Mook, he did not get hit in his eye, bro. He didn't get hit in his eye. No, move. Go look at the replay in slow motion. They showed it, bro. He did not get hit in his eye, bro. The so what did he get? Hit him in his forehead. So what did he get hit in? By his forehead, bro. Mook. They say, listen, AD's rubbing his eye, bro. Go look at the replay in slow motion. I just seen it on Twitter, bro. He did not. So get you tell me, Anthony eye, Davis fake? You tell me, Anthony Davis fake the injury, bro. That's listen, what we. Or, man, huh? Listen, he knew. Listen, bro. I knew from the front. I knew from the jump. The, like from the jump when the game started, I kind of knew. Like I'm like. Damn, AD ain't aggressive. I'm like, what's going on? Bro, man, that's it. But look how he came out, though. Let's be honest, bro. AD didn't want this game, bro. AD oh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me see this shit. Yeah, go you stay, slow motion. No, you stay Anthony it. Davis got. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think Anthony, I think you capping on Anthony Davis, bro. Man, move. I'm pretty he sure said, they say he got poked in the eye, move. Got to go look at it. You remember they said he got poked in the eye. Got to look at this replay. Did we nobody figure that touch his play, eye, bro? We seen this shit on the playback. He had a he had his whole left side of his face was red. I'm not. I don't know if I'm gonna lie about that. Shit. Yeah, his yeah, yeah. What are you talking about, bro? He, he, you know what I'm saying? No, they, no, no. Listen, I know. Look, they said he got poked in the eye. They said it in the reports. They said he got poked in the eye. No, didn't did no fingers touch the man's eye. He got hit Hold with on. the forearm. That's what I'm saying. Oh, let me let me see. Let me see. He got hit. Oh. Like, come on, bro. I seen the replay. Didn't no fingers touch that man's eye, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna see this shit, bro. Now go look and look. I want you to look at it and let me know what you see. Where Anthony Davis got hit on the uh, left eye again, I believe. Uh, he went up for the mm. Look, yeah. he didn't poke him in his Where eye, Anthony bro. Anthony Davis got hit on the uh, left. You know what? Oh. He didn't told you he got hit. He didn't get poked. They talking about he got. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. That shit do not look hard, bro. I ain't, bro. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Come on now, bro. Hey, Chad. Look, look, look. man, come on, Mookie. Ain't give me this hey, hey, Chad, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, I, hey, Chad, I'm not a guy that be doing that shit, bro. Hey, but come on, bro. What, all the credit, bro. what the fuck is this, bro? bro? Nah, he just got hit by an arm. What he the fuck is this, bro? Look, that's what. Hey, look, that's what I'm saying, bro. Look, they they just said this man got poked in the eye on the report. Chris Haynes has reported on Twitter. He got poked in the eye. Did nobody? The fingers didn't touch his eye. Look at this. No, hey, bro. He got hit in the eye. He didn't get poked. Yeah, they say he got poked, bro. So but it don't look poked? like he barely hit him, though. Man, look. His head didn't even snap back. You know that hit one even hard, bro. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah, I ain't going to lie, chat. I ain't going to lie. Nigga. Hey, chat, do y'all think this is a... Uh, uh, do y'all think oh, this was serious, chat? Do y'all think this is serious, chat? 
I think I think he flopped. He knew this they, one, he knew hey, hey, Chad, do y'all think that hit right there was serious, bro? Because I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like I ain't a guy that crucified guys with an injury, bro. But do y'all think that shit is serious? What he did got hit. Bro? I'm gonna draw him back. Hold on. Somebody said he saw. Ah oh, man, bro. Ah oh, man. He said, why y'all lit lying? Listen, Mookie. It said he got hit. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I think he got hit. I don't think he got poked in the eye. I think he got hit in the eye, bro. You see what I'm saying? I don't. I think he got hit in the eye. I don't think he got poked in the eye. You see yeah, what I'm saying, bro? LeBron James yeah, 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 yeah. That's all I'm about to say, bro. Either way, LeBron James sold his team short tonight. He hey, salute everybody. Make sure y'all smash the like button. We got like 400 people in here, man. Smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our playback app, man. So to everybody, make sure y'all subscribe to the playback app. Watch the games with us live. Um, we were literally watching this shit, bro. But yeah, uh, he didn't get poked. He didn't get poked. He got hit in the eye. And I don't, I don't think to me that hit was hard enough for me to, to sit there and say that, you know. I don't know. I mean, it was it the same eye where he, you know, got injured in? I mean, I don't know, bro, but I mean, he was the deciding factor on why they lost tonight because no Anthony Davis. I knew the Lakers were going to lose it regardless. You know what I'm saying, bro? The way that the way that Anthony Davis has been, been playing since he came to the Lakers is a direct representation of, of LeBron James' play, play style and mentality. You had uh. Anthony Davis was a, was a beast when he was with New Orleans on the Pelicans. He was mm. up there getting blocks, getting rebounds, scoring mm. tough buckets. Now he mm. came to the Lakers and he's passive. And he's sitting mm. out games. And he's, you know, you had this whole narrative within the last couple of years about him being made of glass. He'd been, he'd been playing more recently, but he's still mm. out, like for shit like this. And that's just a you, direct showing of LeBron James and the way he impacts his team. Damn. Him. God damn, bro. Yeah, Anthony Davis should got his ass up, bro. Shout out to Nick T. He said, Mookie, the bookies got to AD. That's all, bro. Uh, are you talking about gambling? I don't know what I don't know, bro. I don't know why he went out with that shit, but that shit don't even look hard, bro. That shit don't even got that. That, that shit don't even look hard, bro. But yeah, man, it's a lot of shit that happened. The Lakers look sorry. Um, the Lakers could play like complete ass. And when we, I'm looking for the Laker fan, bro, uh, you know, a lot of people sit there and say that the, the Lakers need to get Anthony Davis some goggles. Uh, but a lot of people are saying, and this is the 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 talks around the Lakers nation, right? They're basically sitting there saying that they're ready to get rid of Darvin Ham chat, and you know what I'm saying, um, uh, and 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 they're looking for Phil Handy, right? The Lakers feel as though that Phil Handy is the guy where he can help this team get better, right? Phil Handy is another guy, right? who's been assistant for the Los Angeles Lakers since, I believe, 2020, right? 2020, he's been assistant for the Los Angeles Lakers. Bill Handy believes he's ready to be the head coach of the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, chat, do you believe that Phil Handy is the guy for the Lakers? Because they, they sat there and said that they don't want Darvin Ham. Right, every coach is always a problem because of one person, one person, right? Is Phil Handy the guy for the Los Angeles Lakers? Cause they're gonna fire Darvin Ham when the Lakers miss the playoffs, and when the Lakers get put out the first round, they going to fire Darvin Ham. Meanwhile, I don't think Darvin Ham should be fired because I think that when I look at the Los Angeles Lakers, I think that. Players have been in and out of the lineup. Uh, Vanderbilt has been hurt. Vincent has been hurt. Guys have been in and out of the lineup, right? So, like I said there and said, I don't think that Darvin Ham should be fucking fired. What I think is I think that they need to get rid of LeBron James. That's what I think. You, didn't, you think we need to move on from LeBron James? Start fresh. Shout out to uh, Jeremiah. He said Demonte Sabonis could never act like that. Uh, thanks for Sabonis clout. Um, shout out to him, All Star caliber player, right? But, bruh, blue light sentence, bruh. Like I'm, I'm listen. If he's sick, he's sick. But come on, bruh. I mean, this was the most important thing for the Los Angeles Lakers tonight. 
the most important game. If they would have won this game tonight and say the Kings would have lost, the Pelicans would have lost, they're on the pace of getting that six or seven get seed. But now the Lakers are looking guaranteed to be locked up for that 19, which sets them a date with the Golden State Warriors for that one game elimination spot, right? And if Steph Curry, I'm telling y'all, chat, hey, put your mic because you got to echo. When Steph Curry eliminates LeBron James, in the play-in tournament chat, I'm telling you, I going on this stream, and I'm cooking every LeBron James fan on here tonight. I repeat, if if, if let don't let Steph Curry, don't let Steph Curry do that, bro. Don't let him do that, chat. Because if he do that and eliminate the Lakers in the World of State Wars, eliminate the, uh, the Lakers, and they miss the playoffs, this would not be good on LeBron James' resume, bro. This would not be good on LeBron James' resume if he missed the fucking playoffs, bro. This won't look good on Steph Curry's resume. So that's why I sat there and said, the Lakers needed this win tonight, and they lost. Every fucking year, they're either battling for playing. When the last time the Lakers had a top seed? Do y'all know, chat? The last time the Lakers had a top seed is 2020. 21, they was in a playing tournament. 2022, they missed the playoffs. 23, playing tournament. And this year, the playing tournament again. So without this playing tournament, bro, the Lakers won't be in these conversations. And LeBron James was the one hating on the playing tournament, saying it was stupid. But now I, he's benefited from it every single year. Every single year. Every single year, Chet. And it comes to a point, man. Like, you look at this. I know there's a lot of Steph Curry fans that are also LeBron haters. Like, they have these arguments that, LeBron, that Steph Curry is over LeBron. If Steph mm. Curry beats him in the play-in, and it goes on to, to go through the playoffs, man, maybe you have to start having that conversation. There really is an argument for it. Oh, man. Because they both got four rings. Oh, LeBron man. hasn't done shit since 2020 oh. except go to the play-in and lose or be mm. bounced out. Mm. Yeah, that won't be good. Cruddy Win Reynolds, what you got on this game, man? Yeah, that man LeBron ducked tonight, bro. That shit wasn't – that shit was – that shit wasn't cool, bro. Agree. Agree. And AD is soft as well, because you're supposed to come back in the game and fight for your team, bro. That was that was weak, bro. But could have AD just sat there and gave up and say, you know what? Like um LeBron not going out there and playing. Why would I go out there and play and re-risk me getting hurt, trying to put this team on my back and win? Could it could have been like that? Do you think so? <sighs> I don't think so, man, because AD, AD been trying to play this. Well, I guess he, actually, now I think about it, you, you actually got a point because AD been really trying to play this whole season, so it really don't make sense for him to duck this game. You know what I mean? So maybe he probably was just like, fuck it. We already, LeBron already fucked me over, so now I'm about to say, fuck it. I'm not about to play. Here's the thing. We see patterns with people, right? When you mm. look at somebody that you've known over a long period of time, you notice patterns, right? And – AD, if Braun is not playing or if AD gets hurt and he's playing against a tough defensive team, mm. he will quit. He will quit. If he gets a little bit of physicality, gets hurt, he's going to say, I quit. It's simple mm. as that. You guys are giving him too many passes, and I'm I'm honestly sick of it. I, I'm sick of this shit. Sick, sick of what? Everybody giving AD a pass. like he, Like he, it's just him. It's all on him. Right, dude, he's terrible. He's terrible. He can't so ever think, stay healthy. So you, When's the last time he had a healthy season? When's the last time he had a healthy season? Uh, he's healthy this season. What's, what's your point? And y'all still suck. Exactly my point. No, AD's Anthony not going to save us. Hold, Listen, hold, AD's Anthony, not going to save us because he's soft. That's what I'm getting. To. Hold on, AD's Anthony. Da hold on, Anthony us. Davis has been healthy. Hold on, Anthony Davis has been healthy majority of the season. And you talk about Anthony Davis get a pass. Bro, Anthony Davis is the most slander fucking Laker that I know, bro. You go on every Laker channel, every Laker got me a podcast, what you name of, bro. 
they slander Anthony Davis' name. The nigga who you should be getting on is LeBron James who holding your fucking franchise hotches, bro. Oh, yeah, you no, wanna sit there, too. You yeah. want to sit I mean, there I can Anthony Davis? No, I can definitely how many games Anthony Davis, Davis played this season, yeah. chat? He's played 73 games this season. He's on pace of playing the most games he's played all season long of his career. What were the games he took? What were the like games he sat out? I want to know that. Bro, like I sat there and said, right? <laughs> This man, Anthony Davis, has been available and got ass still fucking losing. You're still losing. You're still losing. Yeah, LeBron's not going to save us. LeBron is y'all, terrible. He's closing down. Y'all, 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 at least Rui is consistent. Basically, AR and D'Lo are a bunch of um, nobodies. They're terrible. Um, they're not championship players, type players. Um, and they don't show up in the biggest moments when it matters most, when their number is called. Mm. So at the end of the day, we're not going to win anything as long as they're around. Um, mm. AD is soft. He doesn't play hard. He doesn't show up against real competition. I.e. Minnesota, Nuggets, okay. Matt, should I go on? Basically, yeah. AD is trash, and we all know it. So is, is LeBron somebody, is 39. Oh, He's not oh, carrying oh, anybody oh, anywhere. Oh. It's calling somebody trash is breaking the game down. What do you mean? he Dude, he gets scored on consistently by – How is a guy that's an all-star caliber player who's one of the league's best defenders – Oh, how's a guy – and Anthony Davis, who's a superstar caliber player. Okay, does he, like a against and, 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 does he play like a superstar against the best teams? Does he play like a superstar against the best teams? No, hold you sit there. Stop you with that. sit there uh, calling him the crack. Context, the context, when Anthony though. Davis is an all su- all star caliber player, he's a superstar caliber player. He's one of the least best defenders you, in the I league, you. and you want to sit there and I call him you. trash. I hear you. I hear you. That's not trash, bro. Okay, you can't be trash when you're a champion. You can't Bro, be trash when you're one of the league's best defenders in the NBA. He doesn't play hard all season. He doesn't do it. He has been playing hard. No, he doesn't. And he doesn't he show up in the games where it matters this season. Most. What are you talking about? He doesn't show He's... up in the games where it matters most. And what are you on top crazy, of that, bro. hold on. Oh, my goodness, bro. What are you and talking about? The games that... matter most. Come on, bro. So, so let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Has he won against Denver at all? At all? Has has two of the stars played good against Denver? It's not Anthony Davis. Exactly. But LeBron Adam, has been terrible. Ter- Anthony Davis oh, for that Le- bullshit oh, he pulled. Le- LeBron James been terrible against. No, put LeBron James for fucking quit on the team tonight. I can bro. cook him if you want me to. I can. Definitely At least cook he was LeBron there James. to go out there and compete. Your man set off for fucking symptoms. How do you compete if you get hit in the in the face? Because he barely. was out there on the floor. He was out there on the floor competing. No, you don't compete when you quit. You don't quit, bro, bro. bro. So did LeBron He's James quit? Did, Le- did LeBron he James quit? Before he got hit. Oh, LeBron yeah, James quit a long time ago. He knew that. Okay, so why you got all this smoke for Anthony Davis, who's been your consistent player and been durable enough to play majority of these because games? Because I'm cooking whoever was playing tonight. That's why. But uh, hey, we if you want to cook LeBron reason. James, I can. Mookie, Mookie, Mookie if you're getting all Louis. pissed and riled up about me not cooking LeBron James, no, I'm not even getting. Hold on, I'm not even getting pissed. I'm just sitting there saying that you not. Keeping the same energy, you're not applying the same logic. If you want to sit there and say Anthony Davis, you know, there's times where he gets killed and abused on certain matchups, that's fine. But without him, you're one of the worst defense in the league. Matter of fact, you're the worst defense in the league. Yeah, we can't guard the three at all. We can't do it. It's obvious. I mean, if tonight that didn't to show us, Davis. then I don't know. I don't know I'm when we're gonna wake up and realize that. I don't know when. Like, we can't guard the, the three. The question it's is, simple. for the future of the Lakers, is they didn't move on from LeBron James, right? So the question is, what do they do? Do they go after young players, or do they go after veterans, or do they give up? I mean, they got, mm-hmm. they're got they at a point in their franchise, after they get bounced out of the play-in, where they're, they're going to have to make a decision about their future. Is Anthony Davis mm-hmm. their man, or is it somebody else? Mm. So you got the Lakers missing the playoffs? I yeah. got them getting bounced out. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Is that a problem? So you, so y'all got Golden State beating them, or you think they're gonna make it to the second round of playing? Golden State is beating them, bro. Oh, Golden State's beating us hands down. 
Yeah. If Clay Thompson is playing like he's playing, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see, I don't see anything beating who, them. Anybody who can beating them? Beat? Who can the Lakers beat, bro? The Rockets. Nobody. I mean, we might lose to done. Memphis. We might lose I mean, to Memphis. They, they own OKC. Okay. Honestly, might. They own. They don't OKC. own anybody. They don't own anybody. Let's be real. Then the Lakers could go to a seven game series with OKC, and they win two games at most. But I'm asking They're Jeff, just, who can the Lakers beat, bro? The Thunder. We can't beat the no. We can't beat the Thunder. We can't beat the Nuggets. We can't beat Minnesota. Mm. They can beat uh, every the team. We can't the beat the Suns. We they can't beat the Suns. Suns. We, no, we can't that. beat the Clippers. Mm. Um, who else? I think we can't beat the, beat the Mavs. Oh, we're not beating the Mavs. What? So y'all don't deserve to be in the playoffs then? Not. A, we're in the night seed, Mookie. We're in the night seed. You're telling me we deserve to be in the playoffs? I don't. I mean. I don't know if everybody else is a real Lakers fan. I'm a real Lakers fan, I'm not a LeBron James fan at all. And uh, Lakers mm-hmm. suck. Let's just be honest. If we're mm-hmm. just being completely honest with ourselves, hey, are, they, are, are they better than the Suns? Yeah. Are they better than Lakers the Suns? You said what? Are they better than Phoenix? No, absolutely not. KD is, is like the leading fan. one of the leading scorers, isn't he? Yeah, and yeah. Booker is out here dropping fifty. So. KD is ass. Hold on, hold on. The Suns had a worse team, and they got two games out of Nuggets. Lakers couldn't even get uh, one game. You being serious? Then here? If you're a Lakers fan, what do you think the Lakers should do this offseason when they get bounced out? Uh, get rid of LeBron James. Get rid of AD, uh, or maybe keep AD. Get rid of LeBron James. Um, get rid of the cancer because there's a cancer at the center of this all, right? If if we're just examining what's been happening, cancer. Coming from LeBron James. Oh, 100%. Yeah. It's LeBron James. It's always been him. Uh, it's clutch. It's... So you don't think they should they should draft Bronny in the draft next year? Hell no. I mean, that would be the end of all hope in this franchise. Yeah, yeah. He'll hold the fran- franchise uh, horses, bro. Yeah. It's, it's a bunch of clowns, basically. Yeah, it's a bunch of clowns running the show, bro. It's a bunch yeah. of clowns running the Lakers show, bro. Real talk, bro. It's embarrassing. Uh, and the fact that y'all niggas think that y'all that good, bro. And the fact that I heard when y'all was on a four game win streak that y'all was gonna win a championship. It's embarrassing, uh, bro. Yeah, we didn't play anybody good at all. We didn't play anybody. Did he? So you didn't play anybody that- celebrating. Everybody's out here celebrating. Oh, the Lakers what? look good. You got Ghost Town told them here sitting there coming on playback and sitting there saying that the Lakers look good. Oh, the Lakers look good, Mookie. Oh, we I love the way. Ghost Town is a Bron fan. We all know that. He's, he's not, not an actual Laker Laker fan. fan. Yeah, he's not a Lakers. We all know that though. Yeah. All right, so let me ask you: How come the Lakers beat the Pelicans, Thunder, and, and every team about to win games, bro? Let's let's look at this honestly. Every team about to win games versus a mid or or bad team. Any team can go on a run. We we're not about to discredit LeBron completely here, but he's still a good player. But he's not what he was or what he thinks he is, and that's the problem. Hmm. He might yeah, honestly. The, we might get out of the first round if we're healthy. If we're not healthy, who, we're not who y'all, out of the first y'all, y'all either have to play Minnesota or Denver, bro? Who no, are we're y'all? Not getting out of the, what team that y'all can match up? <laughs> well, uh, hold on. We I, might it, beat Minnesota because because uh, uh, y'all, y'all not y'all not beating Minnesota, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Y'all yeah, not gonna have no yeah, open range. That series is going to seriously rely on y'all hitting perimeter jump shots, which I don't believe. Nas Reed is Nas Reed is different, man. That dude is crazy. In transition defense, in transition, your transition defense, bro. To me, even our transition of- offense, our transition offense is terrible. We're out here slowing the ball down, mm-hmm. not running, like just being mm-hmm. lazy, man. It's mm-hmm. just sad to watch, man. It's just sad. Sad. Is it, yeah, is so it, it sucks being a yeah, Lakers fan standard, right now. The standard for the Los Angeles Lakers has fallen so far. I mean, been, I don't think maybe tonight was just, every year they came off a back to back. I mean, they did just play yesterday. I think it's a it's a general problem with the Lakers this season. It's a standard of what the Los Angeles Lakers is about has fell so far. I mean, the Nuggets like aren't out here blowing back to back games. I mean, the Minnesota Timberwolves are out here playing hard. I mean, come on, like seriously, man. I hate this, man. I really hate this. This is yeah, one of the worst seasons I've ever seen, man. Getting hyped yeah, up. Bro, 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 season bro, bro, tournament. Come on. What are your expectations for the Los Angeles Lakers, bro? What was your expectation going into this season for the Los Angeles Lakers? I thought we were going to be healthy for one. 
but we're not healthy at all. Uh, I thought we were going to see Vando again because he was huge for us in the playoffs last year. Uh, basically, two of our – three of our guys are out, so you're basically missing a whole bench. So it is what it is. Mm-hmm. So like I said there and said, Chet, uh, we smoking the Laker pack. But if you if you feel the need to smoke a Laker pack, chat, make sure you subscribe to our playback when watching those games live. Download the playback app; it's free. Uh, get free VIP VIP pass to watch the got your games. Uh, I gotta ask y'all something, bro. Do y'all think Phil? Do you think Phil Handy is a guy that y'all can come over there, right, and 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 and, and be better than Darvin Ham? Would you trust in God, Phil Handy? What you mean? He he says just as much crap as Darvin Ham. They're both on the same page. They're the same squad. Uh-huh. What are you talking about? Mm. The players are trash. The players cannot play. We have no defense. You don't have no defense. You're not gonna you're not gonna outscore these teams, man. These teams are young, they're quick, they shoot they, threes. They, then y'all and drop. I mean, what y'all and drop for? Like y'all and drop. Then y'all not rotating properly. Then y'all doubling got yeah you're out of position so when you're out of position bro and you're not positioned consistently you're not be, out of position yeah, yeah we're not like we're position. behind chasing guys um yeah. just not no footwork uh lazy no communication out. too as well no communication zero communication yeah. uh no help defense yeah basically we're trash mm. Mingle uh, Justin, what is going on with the loss man Dude over here crying on the panel. Man, stop crying. <laughs> I mean, I'm just being real, bro. I'm just being real. <laughs> Mookie, go ahead and I mean, get go ahead. Be, Mookie, be go ahead and order him a pacifier. Uh, uh, Maybe I mean, we're trash. Right. I mean, we're trash. Uh, you crying. <laughs> they're they're <laughs> terrible. Bro, no, wait, wait. No, where yeah. are you going to say the Lakers trash? First of all, these guys don't want like seven games straight. Six or seven Against games. Who? Against who? Against they didn't beat nobody. It doesn't matter. They won. They was winning. Matter. But they beat trash. <laughs> but you got to understand, all the teams play the same team. Miguel, they beat they trash. The team in the NBA play the same team. Oh, oh, Migo, Migo. Yeah. Uh, oh, Migo. On it, on, uh, let, me, let me inform you right quick because I don't I, I don't want you to get brainwashed with the Laker fans and the Laker thought has been telling you on different platforms and stuff like that, bro. Oh, 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 oh. let me tell you something right quick. This, this is who the Lakers have beaten these last couple of games. They have beaten... The fucking uh, Washington Wizards, trash. The Toronto Raptors, trash. The Brooklyn Nets, trash. The uh, uh, Memphis Grizzlies, trash. Uh, they beat the Milwaukee Bucks, badass team. They beat the fucking goddamn 76ers uh, with no and B, uh, mid ass team. They beat the goddamn Atlanta Hawks, uh, mid ass team, badass team. I mean, who, who the fuck have they beaten, bro? And this is my the only the only team that I'll say that beat them that was probably impressive was the Cuban Cavaliers. But and this is my thing, and this is my it. thing. Those That's same it. teams, all those same teams you just named, Boston played all those same teams. Uh, Why uh, are you Denver the playing all those same teams? teams. OKC okay, played those same teams. The hey, Timberwolves hey, played those same teams. Why are you? What, 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 what you saying? And then my Boston thing is, if they would have lost, but look, but look, this is the key. If, I, I got to get like Elder. This the key. If they would have lost, y'all would man, y'all would have y'all would have sent them guys yeah. through the meat grinder. Right, the, go off of the, the thing that you got to understand, Mister Mingler, the thing that you have to understand, Mister Mingler, is that when I assess a team, right, I look at the flaws of a team. I look at what they do best. Yeah. I look at what the Lakers do. Uh, when we look at their flaws, no peel away, no second air create on the wings. They're one of the worst transition defensive teams that I've seen this season as well. Um, like I said, there, say they're out of position on ball. They won the worst team in guarding on the ball as well, right? And then when Anthony Davis off the team, they're an undersized team that can't box out, and they're going to droughts where when they go to really, really bad droughts on their offensive end, bro, they're inadequate, bro. So like I said, there, said, right, um, I can assess a team and look at what they do best Right, and they might have a little flaws and little questions in out of there, but they're a good team because they're able to remain consistent. The Los Angeles Lakers haven't remained consistent. They've been a mediocre team. They've been in the night team for majority of the season as well. And at the end of the day, Miguel Jester, this team is not good enough. Okay. And they <laughs> get put out. Now let, now let, now let me reiterate. Now let me reiterate. Now let me reiterate. 
What I'm about yeah. to say is, is that first of all, mm. yes, the Lakers been a night seed about the entire yeah. season, yeah. but we all know that seed and BS yeah. don't really matter when it comes to the playoffs. Cause mm-hmm. teams have been the number one seed number and get their ass toe up in the first and second round. We already know how that seed and shit, that shit don't really matter. So mingle jester, mingle jester, mingler jester. It doesn't you. matter. We all, on, mingle, we all know the mingle, seed mingle, doesn't matter. Really. Mingle jester, let me ask you a question, sir. You there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm listening. You ready for it? Yeah. Do you think the so there's two teams that the Lakers either going to face? In the postseason setting, Mister Mingo, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's the Denver Nuggets mm-hmm. and it's the Minnesota Timberwolves, Mister mm-hmm. Mingo. Do you think the Lakers can beat the Nuggets and the Timberwolves in the seven game series? I don't know about the Nuggets, but I think they can beat the Timberwolves. Put your money where your mouth. I is. don't know about the Nuggets, but I believe. First of all, if y'all trying to judge it off this, is this game right so here? They're not beating. Lebron Minnesota. didn't You're play, and they went out of the game. But You're out of your mind. You're out game, of your bro. mind. You're out of your fucking mind. Bro, I don't care. That's what you're talking about, bro. Paul, the, the, reason, the reason why the reason why you're out of your mind <laughs> that, that's is at the end of the day, the I Minnesota see. series is going to be a tough series with the Los Angeles Lakers because you got a guy in Rudy Gobert who is great at defending the paint at an all-time elite level, right? So they're going to force you to shoot perimeter jump shots in that series. They not. You're not going to have no consistent they paint. Got they got AD. They got AD, remember? Anthony Davis, ladies and gentlemen, he get hit up the side of the fucking head. He's out of the fucking game. So if you trust Anthony Davis, if you trust Anthony Davis to be a consistent scoring threat in the paint, right, you're sadly mistaken because that's been not that all season. season. It only gets more physical in the playoffs, man. Come on, Mingle. Hey, AD done been a consistent scorer for Mingle, the Lakers Mingle, all season. Mingle, 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 how much, and, Mingle, how, and Mingle, how much are you trying to bet for that Lakers and Minnesota Timberwolves? Bro, I ain't, ain't betting because, man, I ain't, I ain't getting in all that. But all I know is, but all I know is, y'all sleep, man. Y'all sleep. I mean, they lost this game. LeBron didn't play, and AD went out the game. That's what y'all trying to judge that I for. I'm judging their character. I'm judging their character 100. percent I mean, why would you trust them? Why would you trust them? They beat the Milwaukee Bucks. They beat the Milwaukee Bucks without those guys. But the Timberwolves is a different animal, though. The Timberwolves is a different animal. Yeah, they had AD. Yeah, they had AD. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, they had AD with the Bucks. Here's the thing, Mingler. They play faster without LeBron James. LeBron James slows down everything. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but y'all got a better chance of winning with LeBron than without him. I don't mm. know who dumbass talking about some y'all. The Lakers is better without LeBron. Do you out your damn mind? Lakers ain't winning shit without LeBron or AD. You play faster. You're not they running. Not give a damn oh, 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 oh. Y'all can play like NASCAR. Oh, oh, oh. Not they're not winning. Like they're not winning. They're not winning. Oh, oh, hey, hey, chat, chat. I'm telling you that they're, now. Not, they're not winning anything with them too as well. I guess we'll have to wait to see, won't we? I guess we'll have to wait to see, won't we? waited to see last year what happened toward them in the Western Conference Finals. I mean, they got swept, but they made it farther than y'all did. Thank you. Okay. They made it farther than y'all did. They got swept. And then, they made and it farther than y'all did. Then, then, then we look at the previous year, right? Because I don't know why Mingo just turned into a Bron dick sucker. But if we look at this year, right? Oh, I'm about to tell the truth about it. Oh, then we will look, we look at the truth about it. Then we, no, hold on. Then we, will look, well, then we look at this year, right? The Los Angeles Lakers got their ass put out, right? Uh, you know what I'm saying? They won the end season tournament. They haven't peaked since the end season tournament shit. Then they went two and fucking 14 since the end season tournament. They've been in the 10th seat for majority of the year. They've been a terrible fucking defense. They've been inconsistent offensively. They haven't been playing good. They've been losing to some badass team. Then praising them for being some good ass team, but they lose it to the black and badass teams, bro. So like I said there and say it, bro, they've been inconsistent. They've been mid. They haven't been good as well, right? And at the end of the day, when we look at the LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers and the duo with Anthony Davis and LeBron James, we're going to look at them as they got the unfilled because the consistency and them be able to be this impactful players for their team, bro, uh, they don't, they lack that, bro. Well, like I that. guess we'll see. Well, I guess we'll see. We'll have well, to you, see. Well, well, well Mingle, you know you just don't know. We're going we to see. How are you going to trust a team with no consistency? All, all that season don't really matter. Because them teams, teams, no them teams be winning all them games and still lose in the playoffs. Get put out first, second round. They be winning all them games. Or did those teams get better? What do you mean? Do those teams get better? 
I mean, Nuggets got better, I would say. Yes, like I said, man, we're going to see. We're going to see. Y'all, we're going to see. That's all I'm going to say. We're going to see. Mm-hmm. We're going to see. It's going to be a lot of things. It's going to be a lot of slow, slow walking and flower bringing. We need playoffs here. Oh, so, you the, so you think the Lakers going to go to the playoffs? I think they'll get out of the play game. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm, okay. So you think they beat the Lakers gonna get out of the play game? You think they beat the Warriors, right? If that's what you think. Yeah. Be- I think they'll beat the Warriors. Yes. Okay. I don't know about that. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, about I think that. they'll beat the Warriors. I think they'll be any team. I think they'll be any team not named Golden. Not named Denver. Hold on. Did you see? I think they could be any team not named Denver. Denver. Did you see Clay Thompson today? Did you see that? But what? What matter? I, I didn't. I just. I just was wondering if you seen that or not. Yes, I thought. What was going so on? Mm, mm, players can have good games. Devin Booker and I had three straight fifty point games. What does that matter? Like it, it don't matter. It, it, is that is that going to translate to the playoffs? Is the question. Mm. That shit don't matter. Do you think the hold on? Do you think the Lakers can translate to the playoffs? I think they can because most so, of their players so you, had that oh, playoff experience. God. LeBron, so AD, so a lot think, of these guys had that playoff experience. So you think? Hold on. So you think that the Los Angeles Lakers can beat the Minnesota Timberwolves? Yes, I think they could beat the Timberwolves. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. A fully yeah. healthy Lakers team can can beat the Timberwolves. Yes, I nigga, do. Nigga, nigga, you you show them. Matter of fact, I'm a, I'm gonna take you even one further. I think the, I think the Lakers can beat any team outside of, of Denver. I'm gonna okay. take you one father. Okay, Miguel. Oh my god, you sound dumb. All right, Miguel, can I ask you a question? Can we just bet a hundred dollars, please? Man, man. I told you already. You're right, so man. convinced. We just bet a hundred dollars, Miguel. Miguel, please just bet. Just bet a hundred dollars, bro. If you believe what you say, can we just bet a little hundred dollars? Every he said every other team. Oh, oh, oh Miguel, Miguel, outside of Denver, yes. Hey, Miguel, I, I would bet you. Oh, Miguel, Miguel, I didn't. I would, oh, Miguel, I would bet you a hundred dollars that they would lose to the Minnesota Timberwolves in the first round. Mm-mm. Huh? Huh? I'll second that bet as well. Throw my money in. Let's make it a two hundred pot. Huh? Wow. Let's, let's bet, Mingle. Let's bet. What happened, Mingle? <laughs> yeah, I told you, I bet. I don't. I don't that already. Yeah, because you went. <laughs> come on, Mingle. I mean, you can't. <laughs> you can't bet a hundred dollars, bro. Nah, I bet I can't bet a hundred dollars. I'm just not betting a hundred dollars. That's okay, the I, I do it. I do it for you for fifty. Fifty dollars. You gonna do fifty dollars? Listen at him. Listen at him. What did I say, man? Did you, did you, did you, did you, did you not listening to me? I, no, you. A hundred dollars looked like it was too much for you. So let's do. Let's do fifty dollars. <laughs> A hundred dollars ain't shit, but I'm not. Okay, so bet then, nigga. Bet then, nigga. That's what I'm saying. Nigga. A hundred dollars ain't nothing, but I'm not. Let him, let him rock. He's unemployed, bro. He's unemployed. <laughs> Bet. Let's bet. Oh, they drawing so my nigga mean unemployed. Hold on, you gotta man. get a job. They tweaking. They better get you. The what? Yeah, you unemployed, bro. Come on, nigga. Let's bet. About what y'all niggas say, bro? Y'all niggas don't know me. Fuck out, y'all. Twice. <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> I'm fuck with me. I ain't gonna lie. Fuck with me. Okay, y'all really, really, I'm just get it together over there. Mingo, relax, man. I'm just messing with you. Man. Hey, it don't matter to me because I said what I said, and I think the liquor can be any team. I said what I said. Yeah, it is what I said. You know you got in your mind, bro. He been, saying, he been saying that shit though for like four months now. This he nigga's out of his fucking mind, bro. I said, I said what I said. The way, the, the way I see the Lakers, I think they can be outside of Denver. I think they can be any team in the NBA. Wow, Jackson Hayes with Jackson Hayes and Denver. Come on, man. Yeah, what's, 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 what's up, man? What you got on this, bro? What I got on LeBron just leaving his team? Yes, sir. Salute. LeBron, this ain't the first time, man. This ain't the first time. Y'all acting like this is the first time you did this. I remember you had a video titled the same thing. LeBron just leaves his team, quits on his team. So LeBron, he's known to do this, bro. No surprise. No, but he, he, did, this, he did this on the biggest moment, bro. He did yeah, this. This, this was a bigger game than, than the last one, but I will say I'm not surprised, bro. Oh. I'm not surprised, but I heard y'all talking about you know what happens if they get brawny? Yeah, well, they gonna yeah. get brawny because <laughs> no one else gonna draft. Them. Why would the Lakers waste a first round pick to get brawny? It's, it's not gonna. It's not gonna be first round. If they get yeah, brawny, but, that go ahead. Yeah, but 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 why would they? Why would they want to get brawny? The niggas ass because Bron, he has plans, bro. He the GM, the GM, bro. Yeah, but why would they want to get brawny? He sucks. Why would what? what he's the, not. He's the, not. He's not trash though. 
He just he's he just passed bad. too much. He just passed too much. Nigga, he, he can't shoot. Passing. He can't, bro. He can't shoot. The only thing he could do is defend. His creation ability is fucking trash. Hey, the Lakers need a guard. What are you talking about, bro? The Lakers nigga, need a guard. Ronnie is is absolutely terrible, bro. What are you talking about, bro? The nigga can't shoot outside of the. He can't shoot at all, bro. Nah, I'm not saying. saying I'm not saying he's amazing or nothing, but. They gonna draft Bronny. Hey, hey, ladies and gentlemen, Bronny James this season, four, two and two, he averaged four points per game, shooting thirty six percent from the field, twenty six percent from the three point line, and sixty seven. Man, I mean, send him down to D two, man. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Stop it, bro. Stop it, bro. I mean, bro. I don't, I don't even. Want I'm not to sleeping on LeBron's son. Bro, he's trash. Bron's son is trash. He playing like trash, but let's see. Now, let's see what anything he's is, Hold on. If anything, his younger son is is way better than that than Bronny. Is going to be right. way better than Bronny, the Look, younger one. I would agree with y'all. Like a hundred percent, he's trash. But in my, I've watched him play. He has potential. Y'all can't sit here and say he don't have no potential. What what potential he has? He just Four passed points. the rock too much. He liked to pass the rock. He, he don't like to take charge of the team like LeBron. Like he just need to. He young. He need he the most. He's he the most athletic person on the court. He just don't be. No, he's him. not. He's like six three, six. He's like six three. What that have to do with being athletic? I Him mean, bro, his hop, bro, bro, bro. I'm saying his hops is not. Which, I mean, he's not the most athletic on the court. That's a lie. Yeah, he's not the not biggest, but like you know, he going. He yeah, he's just, undersized. And he can't shoot. Like what are we do. I wouldn't. I, like I don't look. You seen how he declared for the draft, right? That means that can only mean one thing. LeBron got plans for him because no sane human being would declare for the draft after having a season like that. Just letting y'all know. That's how it is. Let me get out of here, bro. The, the Lakers. The Lakers are. Complete ass, bro. Nah, they are. They are. I can't lie. Yeah, and Bron James cool. suck. And, the, and, and y'all talking about that the eye thing with AD. AD soft. Like, yeah. <laughs> I just realized. Yeah, but that, but that's that's Everybody's how. Them, like, just realizing. But that's how them light skinned niggas are, bro. They, you know, they get hit up, and you know, you know. It's just... I don't know what AD on, man. Bro, LeBron is LeBron is sick, man. He the he completely he's, abandoned he, his team for AD. Oh, you you think he's real sick? What you mean? Because uh, he said he's out for flu like flu like symptoms. symptoms. Yeah. Oh no, nah, I didn't mean it like that. Like sick in the head. Nah, yeah, he's sick he's in the evil, head. He's an evil genius that wants to control everything and control every single narrative. And then when he controls it, it don't work out in his favor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, AD, AD getting hit upside the head, bro. I, I looked at that shit. I'm like, bro, that don't even look that hard, bro. Like that don't even look that. You know what I'm saying? They don't look that. You know, <laughs> that was a soft hit. Yeah, like what? What? What's going on? What's going on? With, if you with... if you get hit by that and you out for the game, then you don't deserve to be in the NBA. I'm gonna just say that. Mm. Yeah. That's what I'll say. You're not an athlete. You're not a professional athlete. He didn't mm. even flop. That was just a real right injury. Can you believe mm. that? I, I mean, I mean, can you believe that? Because you were you a Laker fan, right? Who a Laker fan, bro? You know what? You know, you know who I'm rocking with. Who you rocking with? The Golden State Warriors. Bro. <laughs> oh, so do you think the Golden State Warriors can beat the Lakers in the seven games? In in in, in that in a, They can. For Probably. Sure. They oh, can. Okay, so let me. Uh, I'm gonna ask you again. So. If you think the Lakers can beat the Golden State Warriors, put your money where your mouth is. So you see how I said they can? I'm not going to bet on that. I said they can. So like, you think I don't, I'm not putting no money on the inconsistent Warriors with Klay Thompson and all that and Andrew Wiggins. Nah, hell They're no. both trash teams. They're the 9 and 10 seeds. I mean, nah, 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 they're both the trash teams. teams. They both trash teams where one team is clearly better than the other. Which is what? You know which one. You know I don't go to. You state. know which one? Yeah, <laughs> of course. He said the, he basically said the Lakers is better than the Golden State one. No, but I heard one of y'all say the <laughs> Lakers could be any team besides the Denver I Nuggets. Said that. Ain't no thing. Yeah, he, he I said that. Said that shit. Nigga, now, I now that. I got two things to say about that. Number one, no. Number two, <laughs> y'all let's ride in the Nuggets. Ride in the Nuggets. Ride in the Nuggets. Number one. Number one, I'm telling the truth. And number two, hey, hey, the Warriors just as garbage as anything. Bro, the war I have more faith in the Warriors to beat the Nuggets than the Lakers. 
Because we don't, we don't see what happened. We don't see what happened already when they played the. What we don't see what happened. The Lakers put the Warriors out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Every time the well, not every time we seen what happened last year <laughs> when the Lakers played the Nuggets, and then we seen what happened when the Warriors played the Nuggets a year before that. What happened? Can someone tell me what happened? The year before that, what happened? Now I have to admit, Jamal Murray was injured, but it was mm-hmm. still not even competitive. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Y'all be the injured warrior. Y'all be the injured niggas team. Y'all didn't even. It wasn't competitive though. It was not competitive. We locked up Jokic. That's the end of the story. Oh, y'all, be, y'all be the man. Get out of here. You trying to brag about a team that's not even healthy, bro? Y'all Stop. got smoked. <laughs> Lakers got smoked. <laughs> wasn't even competitive. That was not competitive. You gotta stop, man. You're trying to brag on some bullshit. Wait, was that series with the Nuggets versus Lakers competitive? Stop, All right, then. Stop, bro. Just stop. Just, just stop. I know, I know you said, I know you said, like, oh, like, you know, they could beat any team besides the Nuggets. But I'm just saying, the Warriors have a better chance from what I've seen. They do not have no better chance. You, you must have forgot, though. Lakers smoked the Warriors last year. You must have forgot that. That was a rigged series. No, oh, I guess so. Nice rig. Nice rig. Y'all series were weird. Really? Was it not? Because uh, Jamal Murray was injured. That was a WWE series, yo. Man. Yeah, I yo. guess. Y'all I got didn't want to see that worse, one. Though. That it was a WWE worse, series because y'all got smoked. Man. The Warriors are a team. The Lakers are whatever that worse. is. It's like a team last year when, the, when they got that ass smoked by the Lakers. They look like a team. Next. They got worse because Draymond decided to deck Jordan Poole. And now we lost our goddamn... Second best player. Well, you can talk like you can talk all the noise you want to, but the game still got to be played. Understand that. And y'all would have still said the Lakers is better than the Warriors, even I if we were still is. nice. The, the Lakers 2022. Home. The Lakers when we won the chip. Way. When we won the chip, y'all would have been like, "Oh, the Lakers is." They don't want to see the Lakers. The Lakers oh. own the Warriors. Yo. They be smacking the Warriors every hey, time hey, they hey, play. Hey, hey, hurt. Let me ask you, sir. Hey, yeah. Uh, Oh, hold on. Let me let me let me ask you some uh uh hurt. You uh, there? Oh uh, yeah. Do you think Steph Curry? Uh, yes. Is, is the is the greatest player of all time? You heard my answer already. What is it? Yes, because LeBron. What's up with, Le- with your boy LeBron? I'm a person that believe that the new generation of players is the best players we've ever seen. So. And I'm picking the best player from the new generation. So, so who's can I can I hear your top ten all time? I mean, you put me on the spot, but I could give you some top ten. N- name me in order, or in order, in order, like. <laughs> all right, just, go ahead. All right, you want like the list? Who's your, I, I, who your of the new era of the new era? Of the new yeah. era. Okay, okay. Now yeah, who your top? Oh, no, who your top ten player all time in the new number era. one? Steph. Number two, LeBron. Number three, KD. And then after that. Number four, like this is where it gets tricky because you could put a lot of people up there. I could put James Harden. I could say I could say James Harden, but I don't I don't want to say James Harden because that's gonna be a little too controversial. I could say number four, Luca, maybe Giannis and Jokic. That's another one. All right, so number four, Jokic. Number five, Giannis. Number six. Damn, let me think. You see, like if you said top five, that's easy. That's that's it right there. Where's Jordan at? No, you no, said, M- you said current era. No, I said all time with your with top ten players all time. Nah, you said current era, but I give you all time. No, no Embiid in the current era. No. Nah. Okay. What's Embiid done? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was just asking. I was just asking. I was just nah, asking. Embiid is overrated. Okay, that's another one. He's soft. Okay. Yeah, but. Let's do. Let's keep doing current era because I like this better than old time. Uh, number six, James Harden. Number seven, James Harden. Yeah, the current era. Like we, we mean current era. Like we. Talk, I'm talking about 2010 and up. I mean, bro, stop it. Bro. I'm talking stop 2010 and up. That's what I'm talking about. No, That's the bro, current stop. era. No, bro. I mean, James Harden's not even top ten, bro. If we talking about 2010 and up, James Harden is not top five. Top, I mean, top ten. Mm-mm. Whoa, I think he is 2010 and up. Yeah, James Harden, yeah, something in there. He's somewhere in there. If you're talking about 2010 and up, he, he, he got to be somewhere in there. 
Come on. Now. Yeah, say, see what that dude was doing with YouTube. Y'all going to put Anthony yeah. Davis in there before Harden? Come on, bro. So what y'all got? Like, like, what, like who, said, Mookie, who's your who's your top ten? This today of the of the current era, twenty ten and up. Um. Oh shit. Uh, uh, Steph Curry, uh, number one. Yeah, he, yeah, Steph Curry, Le, LeBron, Kawhi, KD. Why you got Kawhi so high? Because <laughs> he won two championships, two finals, if you please, two DPOY. Pete, that's mm-hmm. one of the greatest playoff performers. Uh, Pete, that's one of the greatest on ball defenders of all time. Uh, one of the greatest shooters, efficient as fuck. Uh, yeah, that's why I got to put him on. And he had one of the most impressive playoff runs in the 2010s and up. So that's why. Uh, hey, which one is that? 2019? Yeah. Yes, sir. Hey. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. So, I ain't going to lie. He most uh, damn top 10. Okay, so I got. He might, he might be nine at can I, 10. Can I, say my, can I say my list, bro? <laughs> Who I got? <laughs> I got Steph Curry, LeBron James, mm-hmm. Kawhi Leonard. Uh, Kevin Durant. Then, then for number five. Hell no. Number five. Bro, can I talk, bro? Yeah, bro. Can I talk, bro? Fuck, man. Damn, but I can't even take my shit, man. Y'all niggas. So I got uh, Steph Curry, LeBron James, Kawhi Leonard, Kevin Durant. In number five, I would probably go with uh, uh, from 2010s and up. I might go with um, hmm, I might go with uh, maybe James Horden, huh? number five for me. Then I go with uh. I go the rest, with rest. I go with Russell Westbrook. I go with Daniel Jokic. Lillard. I go with uh, um, maybe put Giannis up there, but he's at the eighth because he only won like one MVP D-way. from the twenty tens. Um, D Wade not touching top ten. Come on, no D D Wade is not. I don't consider twenty t- tens as era. You know, I don't consider him. But um, so you think the two thousands is D Wade era? No, hell no, bro. Oh yeah, Kyrie <laughs> Irving. Put Kyrie so what did they ever do? Put Kyrie Irving up there. Um, let me see what else. Uh, what else should I put up there? I think D Wade, Mook, because you can't if he ain't two thousand, he got to be twenty tens. Now he two thousands. Man, two thousands. You just say he won though. <laughs> nah, he, he corrected himself. I'm not gonna okay, lie. so what about Dirk? Hell no. He's T- like, bro, Dirk is not touching that list. I'm not gonna lie. Why? Why would Dirk touch the list? It don't even make sense. What about Chris Paul there? He should definitely be up there. Oh yeah, Chris Top Paul. 10? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Chris Paul. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Chris Paul is up there, bro. And Paul George. I I but I would put Russ over Chris Paul. He already said Russ. Yeah. He said he said Jokic. No. No, Jokic is Jokic is the 2020s. <laughs> nah, but 2010 and up. Like you could do 2020. No, but he's not the tw- he's only the 2020. <laughs> Yeah, you got to do 2010 and 2020. No, that's the no. modern era. No, bro. No, but he's saying he's saying he didn't really play in the 2010s like that. Yeah, yeah, but like, have enough stats and stuff to play in the 2010s. Look at my top 10. I got Luca in there because I I'm talking about for the modern era. I'm not talking about 2010s. <laughs> not if you're talking about the 2010. No, nah, he can't. No, Luca can't be in the 2010s, bro. Luca ain't doing in the 2010s. So if you could put Chris Paul in there, I can't put Luka Doncic. Oh, did something in the twenty ten. You remember Lob City? Man. What what Chris Paul did? You don't remember Lob City? Nah, I remember Lob City, but what like is he better than Luka for real? Like, come on. Yeah, he is. From that time span, he is. He was never really an MVP caliber player. 
Yes, yeah, he was. That's in, a in, lot. The 2010s he was and up. in the twenty tens and up. Was, New Orleans, yeah, but twenty tens and up, he was never really a MVP caliber player so, like. Luke. What about Paul George, Mook? He should be in there too. He he gonna be top oh, yeah, fifteen, PG top there, twenty. PG up there. Yeah, PG put PG up there. Yeah, PG too. Look, the top five is solidified though. Top ten get a little tricky, but you got to put Steph. I'm saying you got to put LeBron. Blake Griffin most deaf probably should be in the 2010s too. Oh yeah. I forgot no, about he, him. No, he should. No, he should. How top is he 15, not in the 2010s? Top 15? No MVP. Oh, oh yeah. He no not he not he not top 15. Oh, uh, he not Anthony not Davis touching. up in there. Damn, AD is uh, up in uh, there. I already right, said Anthony Davis. Okay. You said Dwight. He's not hey. What y'all saying about maybe Tatum or something? Man, he not 20, in no <laughs> man. Tatum is really the twenty twenties, man. Yo, y'all not hearing me, bro. He asked me of my of the modern era, who's my top ten. I asked him who of the modern era, who's his top ten. Y'all talking, y'all giving me a twenty tens list. We did this five hundred times since the twenty ten was 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 over. Like, come on. So you got from twenty ten to now. Yeah, from twenty ten to now. Yeah, so that's, the, that's the modern saying, era. Of ball. But 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 this is my thing though. This is what I'm getting at with it. You said if we're doing a 2010 list, but what I'm saying is if you don't have a really resume from 2010 to 2019, then you can't just count. You can't just drop the 2020 and say they're above some of these other guys. Because some of these guys that played in the 2010 and the 2020. You see what I'm saying? They got resumes for both. See, Luca and them only got resumes for the 2020. They did nothing in the 2010. You see my yeah. point? But the things he did in the 2020s puts him in top 10 for me. I don't know about oh, you. Okay, that they ain't up for four years. The twin twins ain't been up for four years. Yeah, I mean, I, I still got some twenty tens people in there. You know, I, I put James Harden in there. I put Russ in there. But do you about you can't make it sense? Look, what's the difference between like seeing Chris Paul and Luca? There really ain't no difference. Like you I said, think, what's the difference between saying Chris Paul and Luca? Like you could say Chris Paul Lob City, and then you know he had his time on the Rockets, but. All that then not to mention he got to the he took the OKC Thunder to the playoffs. They, they first that first time he went. You said then he not took to mention, them to the playoffs. Yes, he took OKC to the playoffs. Then not to mention he took the Suns to the playoffs. They didn't make the playoffs until Chris Paul got there. I, I guess. And that was twenty twenty. That's true. Well, in the twenty twenties. So what y'all saying about D book? Nah, right. D book not up there. Nah, nigga, he's in the twenty twenties. He was in the tens a little bit. No, what? Um, bro, are you are you are you trolling right now? Like the late ten. <laughs> are you trolling right now, bro? What D book? Yes, bro. Stop it, bro. All right. But it said, but in the chat says Cephalos. Not Thabo. Not Thabo. He topped, he topped like 300. What's talking about Thabo Cephalosa? So, what, Mookie, what you were saying about Kyrie? What about Kyrie? You got him You got him up there? Yeah, he's up there in 20, 2010s, yeah. Top 10? Yes, sir. Hey, Luca, nice. I meant to say, uh, Kyrie, nice. But that dude just had forty-eight points on sixty percent shooting. What the hell? That dude be balling, bro. People don't be down for the enough attention to Kyrie. Kyrie be balling, like yeah. really balling. Yeah, I got. Yeah, now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, Kyrie. You, you love Kyrie? <laughs> huh, Miguel? You said what? You love Kyrie? That's your guy. Nah, I, I ain't going to say anything <laughs> like they ain't saying all that now, but. What I am saying is that he can ball. I'm just saying Kyrie can play. He, 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 can, he can play some basketball. That's all I'm saying. So you said LeBron got flu-like symptoms? I didn't even see that. Yeah. yeah that's why he was out today. Yeah, well, I forgot about Melo. Melo, too. I thought he just, I thought he was out. I didn't know it was the flu. He just chatting. Uh-huh. You got to put Melo somewhere in there. Uh, who y'all think will win in the uh, seven game series? The Lakers or the if, if the Lakers or the goddamn uh, 
Nuggets. Nuggets. Yeah, Nuggets gonna be hard to beat. I'm just saying. But, but anybody else, money on the wood, I think they can beat them. Hey. The Lakers are the Mavericks. If they that's both, if they both healthy, if they both healthy, I got the Nuggets. That's the same thing I said. What about I, the Lakers? What about the, Laker, what about the Lakers? What about the Lakers and the Thunder? And the Lakers and five. And the Thunder. Yeah. Uh, hmm. I got the Lake. I got the Thunder. Why you got Thund- the Thunder? Thunder and seven. I just look at their team. Their team is deep. They got people that y'all y'all probably don't even know who's nice. Like, what's that one dude name who about to win most improve? Or he in contention? Who? Uh, Jalen Williams. Yeah. He nice. And they got they got uh Dort. Mm-hmm. Like, don't forget about Chet, Giddy, Shy. That's a deep team. Lakers are not deep at all. So I got that in like six, maybe five. I don't Dang. think the Lakers can hand, handle them. They young, young, but the Lakers are trash. No, they're not. Lakers are garbage. I bet they'll be okay, too. If they were to play OKC in the first, second round, whatever, third round, they'll smack OKC. Nah, because you you like I understand where you coming from. Like you think LeBron might activate or something, but LeBron no. ain't activated in a minute. No, I don't, I don't think LeBron gonna activate. They just gotta. They got more experience than the OKC do. OKC never even been in the playoffs. I don't mean nothing. A lot OKC center lighting ass too. He can't do shit in the post on AD. AD he got check home. Yeah, y'all yeah. talking about the post. What the post got to do with anything, man? So he, he just he just too little for AD, like bro. That's, bro, that's, 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 that's time to check. The post is a part of basketball, is it not? <laughs> yeah, but the post <laughs> is not really that the big post. in the game. Yeah, anymore. it's a part of basketball. Y'all y'all talking about the <laughs> talking post about. as the first thing y'all talking about is the post because game, like bro. Still a part of the game, we though. ain't dealing with Hakeem Olajuwon no more, bro. They got Chet Holgram. First of all, if it come down to the post, and it's AD versus Chet. I'm going to just let y'all know something real quick, bro. AD might be better in the post, but I'm not sleeping on that tall ass man, bro. I'm not I'm not going to sit there and be like, bro, he's just not I'm good just in the post. I'm just going to say this and leave it alone. They got to get their weight up, and I'm, I'm, I'm leaving it alone. Nah, that's a – I don't like that. And then movement, SGA bro. coming off an injury. I forgot about that. SGA is coming off an injury. Bro, SGA can wiggle his way back in while the whole team violates the Lakers, bro. Man, if the Lakers, cap. if the that's Lakers had one of the people I just mentioned, they'd be a better team. Man, that's cap. That's cap. That's cap. The they definitely can't. They players. definitely can't beat the Lakers without SGA. That's not happening. They're gonna get that ass swept if they play let, the let Lakers. Me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Who's the Lakers' third best player? It it doesn't matter. No, I'm just asking this. you. I not I mean, if it matter or not. So just a question. <laughs> You can say Austin Reeves. You can Austin say Austin Reeves, Reeves, right? Now some, you was just talking about Reeves, you was just talking about say, the Thunder need I mean, to get their weight up, right? What about Austin Reeves? What's Austin Reeves gonna do against any of the players I mentioned? Jalen Williams. That ain't, the game, that ain't how the game be played, bro. Cause it'd be so much switching in in today's game. The game is not played like that now, anymore. Now we talking about today's game, but you went straight to post game like we talking game. about Jordan versus no, bro, like. The post is not going to save them. The Thunder are going to violate them badly. The Thunder, no, they're not. The Thunder, the Thunder, Thunder are the not best team in the nothing. West right now. And the Thunder ain't about to violate nothing. It's Nuggets, Wolves, and then Thunder for a reason. Man, the Thunder is not going to violate nothing. I guarantee you the Warriors, I mean, the uh, Lakers will beat the Thunder. And you're talking about, about look, I heard nothing. someone say, look, I, I judge it off this, right? People judge it off experience and whatnot. Like, okay, like, I respect that, but... I base it more off of like who's clutch, and the Thunder have proven to be a very clutch team this season. A very clutch team. What, what clutch team they be? What do you mean? What you just said? The Thunder are clutch. Man, that don't mean nothing. They ain't, it ain't been clutch in the playoffs. The regular season in the playoffs is two different animals. It's true. You, it's true. You know that, but right? 
I, I understand, but you know, it's a seven game series. Like I just got the thunder against the Lakers. Simply, that's just me. Okay. Well, that's just me. I, that's just well, my opinion. I, I respect your opinion though, because LeBron is LeBron. I seen LeBron play teams as you would think it's impossible for him to beat, and he just spanked them for nothing. Well, I'm gonna say this. Well, whenever, whenever you uh come off that high, you let me know. The high of the thunder? No, the high that, that you, which whatever you've been smoking. Hey, Mookie agreed with me. I'm just saying. Hey, man. Hey, I'm telling you now, they not beating the Lakers, bro. OKC would not beat the Lakers in the seven game series. I'm telling you now. But if you believe that he could, if you believe that he can win, I mean, why do you think it's a bad take, man? What you mean? Her and then he, the Thunder go win, bro. Here's the problem: these Laker eyes shakers, bro. They just no, believe. I'm, I'm not a Lakers fan. I just call the game how I see it. I'm not a Lakers fan at all. Not even a little bit. I, I just call it how I see it. And I see that OKC, the Timberwolves, none of them teams can beat the Lakers. That's just me, though. Now, when you're talking about teams like the Clippers, and and when you get the teams like that now, the Clippers, uh, the Mavericks, teams like that, it's going to be a hard out for the Lakers. But when you're talking about them young teams like Timberwolves, no, nah, they can't beat the Lakers. They're too young. They don't, they don't have that experience. They're too young. Now, the Timberwolves is a different story than, the, too young. than the Thunder. The Timberwolves got the size and the defense over the Lakers, first of all. So what you got to say about that? Yeah, they got the defense. Why, why would the Lakers beat the Timberwolves? I'm going to say it. Yes, they have the defense. But at the same time, the, t the Timberwolves is a dumb team. They IQ is so fucking low. When I tell you they, you know, when I tell you Ant Man be just be out there jacking shots sometimes for no true. fucking reason. That is true. I, I think so, I think the, you can't that, do that yeah. against a team like the Lakers because they're gonna take advantage of that. Now, when you said that at first, you know it sounded crazy like the the Timberwolves are a dumb team, but I actually agree with that because they first of all they got one of the dumbest players of all time, Rudy Gobert, and then they have, then they have um what's his name Ant who's inexperienced. That's his main thing. That's the main problem everyone have with Ant is that he's inexperienced and he don't know when to do certain things. Like okay, like all right, but then they have Cat, and Cat hasn't done nothing. I mean, Cat was injured, so I mean, he was injured, but you know, he got yeah. injured. I don't know if he's gonna come back for for the playoffs, but I'm just saying, Cat, Cat, he hasn't done anything with the Timberwolves since he got there. Mm. So that is a dumb team, I have to admit. But see, my thing is, see, but teams like the Suns, the Mavericks, see, them teams got playoffs experience. Them teams know they, they got players on their teams that done been through the playoffs. Um, K KD. You got uh, Booker, you got, you know, those guys on the Sun. Then you got the Mavericks with Luka. Kyrie got a championship. You see, those yeah, who you got the Mavs, matchup. who you got the Mavs or the Lakers? That's a better question. See, now, that, that's, now that's a good, now, now you're talking. Now, see, I don't know. That, that'd that be a hell of a series. How, how, how wait, how, how, how is that going to be? Whoa. Because I think, I think that series can go seven games simply well, because. I'm confused. I'm just confused. You said. Keep your hold your thought. I'm just confused because you said the Thunder versus the Lakers wouldn't be a good series. The Lakers it would, would just it wouldn't, them. Be. it wouldn't be because they don't have that experience. <laughs> but the Mavs, the yeah, Mavs, because that's an interesting series. Yeah, the Mavs got you, you, you must not forget. You must have forgot the Mavs. You must have forgot the Mavs went to the Western Conference Finals one time. Also, yeah, but also this Kyrie team that they Irving, have is not is not really. But that wait good. a minute. Also, Kyrie Irving got a championship. Hey, Mooka, I'll slap you. So Kyrie Irving does have a championship, but that's a fraudulent championship. That's <laughs> like <laughs> fraudulent. Not, also not Kyrie championship. No, nah, I'm gonna explain fraud. why. Let me explain why. Because that was LeBron's chip. How he, he averaged twenty seven points. Kyrie Kyrie played his part, but Kyrie never had a chip where it was. I'm gonna like, say it again. Like when, Kyrie no, hold on, hold on, time out, time out, time out, time out. You, you, when Kyrie was on the Celtics or in the Nets, that would have been a good chip for him, even though so, you know KD on. was there. But so like, you telling me? So you telling me that a dude averaged twenty seven points got a fraudulent chip? That what you telling I'm me? I'm not. Well, that was the wrong word to use. I'm just saying that that was more like a LeBron chip. Type of sense. That's stupid. Everyone always talks about how Kyrie got a chip. Kyrie would have never had that chip if it wasn't for LeBron. And then and LeBron would have never had that chip if it weren't for Kyrie. I don't know about that. He not winning. I don't know. Oh, how much? That's funny. I don't know about that one. He, so, he, he Kyrie played a, a vital part, but LeBron is LeBron. Back then, 
that's a superhero. That's LeBron not beating that team by himself. LeBron back then, that's a different. Yeah, okay, breed. okay, LeBron back then. I'm glad you said that. So if LeBron back then beating teams by himself, why he didn't beat the Warriors in 2015 when both of those guys got hurt? Nah, that's <laughs> different. I don't know. How's that I different? You I just say he can do it by himself. I can't answer that question, but I'm not, I'm just saying in 2016 it's possible. You're not it's making possible. it. You're you saying you saying it's impossible for LeBron to have one without Kyrie? LeBron not beating those teams by himself, bro. No, he not. Oh, LeBron, not LeBron. Happening. They they mentioned bro, Braun back then. They mentioned his name alongside Superman and Batman, bro. And, he, and I don't give a do damn anything. about Superman nor Batman because they're fictional anything, characters. Bro. Secondly, I don't give a damn about Superman nor Batman. They're I remember fictional it was, characters, bro. What was the Secondly, year where he went up against the Pacers and then he had the Raptors and then it was just crazy, like bro, like LeBron back then. He was different. But well, either way. Back to Kyrie, Ky- Kyrie. I'm not, I'm not saying I don't. Mean, I, didn't, I didn't mean to say it's a fraudulent championship. I'm just saying like that wasn't really like com- compared to what we've seen him do after that championship. Like, come on, nah. like nah, like I can't really just jack that championship like that. What you mean, yeah. jack it? The dude averaged twenty seven <laughs> points. Like by Jack, by Jack, I mean like I can't really just sit there and be like, hey, he is an NBA champion though. Like I've seen him do a lot of garbage since then. Bro. I guess, I guess you're acting like twenty seven points. I guess you, you think he just averaged twelve points or ten points or whatever. The I, case I, I, but so hear my point though. Hear my point. He he did well in that finals. Forget about that finals, right? But I'm just saying, like since then, like Kyrie has not been the most reliable player. You're and saying. I agree with that. But at the same time, though, you can't just say that that championship in 2016 wasn't his, too. He earned that championship just as much as LeBron did. Nah, you're right, you're about right, you're right. But it's not – I'm not bringing that up no more. That's not him no more. He hit that crazy-ass shot. Kyrie used to be that student to the game, that 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 nice young mm-hmm. man. And now what is he? Like, I don't really look at him the same way. Just because he's playing alongside Luca, I don't really look at him. I mean, as a first champion. of all, that last time they was in the playoffs when they got swept by the uh, Celtics with KD, when he was with KD, Kyrie missed most of the season because of that mess was going on with the with the Brooklyn Nets That's owner. That's what I mean. He's not really reliable. I mean, there's players, there's players that really don't get injured that often. Kyrie is not one. He wasn't of them. injured. He wasn't injured. It was the whole anti-Semitic thing. He wasn't injured. He had missed like uh, he only played like twenty nine games because of that. I respect him for going out and saying that, but that's another reason why he's unreliable. At any moment, I mean, I mean, like he believed in what he believed in. If, if, you, if, if you don't believe, in but, but 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 hey, LeBron's team versus um Lucas team in that game in that series, who man, I got, I still for what he believed in, man. He still nah, for yeah. what he in. That's why I say I respect that. I respect. If you him don't for, stand for something, that. you will fall for anything. You ain't, you ain't uh, never heard of the faith. You could do that without getting suspended from the A. What you mean? That, 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 that's what the consequences. That's what came with it. He only played twenty nine <laughs> games that season, and they got swept by the Celtics. Yeah, that's what happened. But you say you got LeBron and in seven. That, the year before that, Giannis injured him. Y'all just Giannis trying to pull his leg out of the socket, maybe his arm or something like that. And then it was the COVID thing too. He I mean, want to get the vaccine? Yeah, then yeah, then there's that. I mean, he didn't want to do that. I mean, he got a yeah. choice to put. What do you want to put in his body? So knowing, I mean, that, the NBA, that, body, knowing know. that the NBA is WWE for the for the Lakers in a seven game series, I probably got the Lakers against the Mavs. Honestly, the Mavs are not a good team. Hey, we'll see. We'll see. I disagree with that, but we'll see. Because in a seven 